Thank you so much, everybody. And I want to say especially thank you to Lori and thank you to, to Sarah, the, the parent who spoke earlier. I, um, I had the, I had the, the honor, which I wish I did not have, of, uh, of uh, actually personally sending a letter from, uh, from Sarah and, and Lori and about 275 other parents from all over the country, parents of transgender children, this letter that they wrote to Mr. Matier. Um, I just looked up his uh, email address at his current job and sent it to him, and I said very nicely, I said, you know, you're Mr. Matier, I'd like you to know this big group of parents, you know, wanted to share these thoughts with you, and I hope you'll take it the time to read it and consider its content. I didn't get a response. Um, when uh, some of the, the parents got together and did a, a video, which some of you have, been out, have, have, have seen, uh, reading very, you know, the very heartfelt words from that letter about being parents uh, and about worrying about their children and what it, what, it, uh, what it says to kids to hear public officials talk about them like this. Um, I sent Mr. Matier another email and said, I hope you'll take a look at this video and consider uh, what these parents have to say. I, I haven't heard back from them yet. Um, I haven't heard back from the, from the members of the Senate Judiciary Committee either about this. What do they think about talking about our kids like this? Uh, we've, we've, uh, we've all, I think, heard from, from the parents <coughs> And we should really, really sit with that. You know, we're not just talking about a few stray comments. Um, uh, we're not just talking about calling kids Satan's plan. Think about what that does to kids. Um, we're not just talking about saying, you know, bragging, we discriminate all right. Another, another of Mr. Matier's greatest hits. We're talking a about a man along with several other of these judicial nominees who are being quickly pushed through the Senate, who have made a big part of their career on, uh, on vilifying and trying to, to publicly shame, demonize, and humiliate a group of people because of who they are. And that is not just unbecoming of a nominee for a lifetime judgeship, that's really unbecoming of an American. Woo! Let alone of any kind of public official, we're going to give the grave responsibility of being a federal judge. And so, I'm calling on the members of the Senate Judiciary Committee and the members of the Senate as a whole to do their job and reject this nominee. He is not just controversial, he is unfit. Woo! And we deserve better. We all deserve nominees who are qualified to do this very important, potentially lifetime job, and who we know will actually be fair. And it is not often in the history of this country that we see nominees, let alone a bunch of them, who are so manifestly unfit as Mr. Matier. This should not be a difficult call. I don't think that there is, there certainly shouldn't be a member of this body who wants to own comments like these, who wants to own a record like these. This is the definition of a lack of judicial temperament. This should not be a hard call, senators. So, I look forward to hearing, especially from Senators Cornyn and Cruz, who filled out those blue slips, and from the other me members of the committee. Do they really intend to move forward with this? I certainly hope not. I certainly hope that they will find the, that they will find the character and the conviction and the judgment not to join in, not to take ownership of telling hundreds of thousands of children that they're part of Satan's plan. Not of saying that, you know, we discriminate all right. Not to take ownership of that 
shameful record. The U.S. Senate and the people of this country deserve much, much better than that. That is not who we are, is it? No. No, that is not who we are. And I will say it as a, as a community of transgender people and our loved ones, our family members all over the country. Incidentally, my mom and dad want you to know that I am not a part of Satan's plan. <laughs> Um, and they didn't tell anybody that even when I was a rambunctious five-year-old. <laughs> and they certainly don't want a federal judge who thinks that about their kid. None of us want that. A lot of the members of the Senate and the Judiciary Committee are parents. I don't think they want that for their kids, for their grandkids. We have come a long way, not just as a transgender community, but as a country. And we should not turn back and accept this kind of hate now. We should not. We must not. We cannot. We are better than that. So I am calling on all of you to call on the Senate. Tell them, this is not okay. This is beyond politics. This is fundamental. This is not okay. This nomination will not do. It has to be turned back. If Mr. Matir will not listen to these parents, if Mr. Matir will not withdraw himself, the Senate must reject him. And it's as simple Woo! as that. It's got to be. We're better than this. Thank you.